Hey traders, nothing better than sailing and trading while sailing. I mean, does it get better than this? I'm sailing from Croatia to Montenegro and I just noticed Tesla. Now take a look at Tesla, it's up 1.8%. And while Tesla is up that much, a lot of people are watching it. So I'm going to buy 600 shares buying now and expecting it to move over the highs. So, you know, you go long or short stocks that everybody watches. Why? Because when Tesla is reversing and it's strong, then you would expect a lot of people to watch it. It just spiked up. I'm up more than $2,000. I'm going to sell 500 shares selling right now, leaving just 100 shares. And again, you want to go long or short stocks that everybody watches. And another candidate here is Marna. Marna is down 1.6%. It's trending lower. I'm not sure about market direction, but I'm shorting here 2,000 shares, expecting it to continue coming down. The market started with a gap down today, so I'm expecting a gap and go. It should gap and go, so I don't know whether stocks will move higher or lower today. I'm playing on both sides. BA, Boeing, is strong today. It's up more than 4%. And again, just like Tesla, a lot of people are watching it, so I'm going to buy here 2,000 shares, buying now, expecting it to continue to move higher. And again, it's reversing and it looks well and I don't know again about market direction and we've got Visa Visa is down 1.4% it's a nice reversal point nice breakdown point I'm shorting I will short 2,000 shares because I'm expecting the market to come down short now now take a look at the S&P 500 you can see that the S&P is trying to move higher and Visa just hit me because the S&P just kept moving higher. So I'm out of Visa with a $2,000 loss. And if you take a good look at the S&P, you can see that it started with a big gap down and did what is normally not being done. It moved higher. Well, normally it does move higher, but not much. And then it comes down and supposed to gap and go, meaning continue to come down, which just didn't happen. So my longs are doing well. Visa, as you can see, just got hit. And I'm a little bit worried about mRNA now because the market just keeps moving higher. As you can see, I've got a $2,900 loser in Visa, one winner in Tesla. And now Boeing starts to move higher because the S&P continues to move higher. I'm waiting for a move over the highs. I'm up $2,000, a little bit more. I'll take my partial once it moves over the, the highs it just did I'm getting ready to sell three thousand dollars small pullback now sold left just 100 shares I don't trust the market to continue moving higher so I'm leaving just very small size I'm up one thousand dollars in mRNA and I'm moving out of this trade because the S&P just keeps moving higher so I don't really know what's going on S&P was not supposed to continue moving higher but it did so anyway my longs worked out very well Tesla and mRNA as you can see uh, sorry Tesla and Boeing so they both worked out fine I did not trust mRNA so I took a quick partial while it was in green and I've got a loser in Visa because it just responded to the market when the market moved higher Visa just moved with the market anyway I've got a good result today just under four thousand dollars and not bad for 40 minutes of trading right from my boat I want to thank you very much for watching this video and if you liked it please give me a like or you can subscribe to this channel right over here there's a button and hit on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads and thank you very much for doing so and if you want to trade the same platform I do then you've got some links right here below to the Colmex Pro platform which I believe is the world's best and please 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 start with the demo don't risk your hard-earned money because everybody loses when they start trading trading is extremely hard and please be careful it's a very very tough game thank you very much for watching i'll see you in my next video